Good day, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Metal Update on Commodity TV today with Lithium. The white gold of the battery industry is simply always in focus. No matter what type of battery we look at, it won't work without Lithium. The main mining regions are Australia with around 45% and Chile with a global market share of around 30%. Meanwhile, countries like Argentina and Bolivia are catching up. The USA is trying to do the same and wants to bring several mines into production. The refining business, which is the second important aspect of lithium, takes place 75% in China, which creates dependencies. The outlook to 2030 raises several questions and challenges. Lithium demand comes almost exclusively from the battery manufacturing side for e-vehicles. This may increase 25-fold by 2030. Since lithium is part of everything and not interchangeable, it looks like we will have a bottleneck to worry about. Possible sodium ion batteries could slow down lithium demand somewhat, but they will only be able to capture a small market share for light vehicles. If trucks in the E-range are now added, demand should continue to rise sharply. On the supply side, we are seeing faster development cycles of lithium mines, which can be four to seven years from discovery to production. Global supply has tripled between 2010 and 2020 and could grow faster by 2023, but we don't think so because the uncertainties are huge until a mine really reaches commercial production, not to mention the environmental standards are getting higher and higher, which is of course right. However, this delays the approvals and makes everything much more expensive than planned. In addition, there are political efforts like in Mexico, Peru and Chile up to nationalization thoughts. Not only lithium production has to struggle with this, but also many other metals in these countries. Besides, the big companies like Albemarle, SQM and POSCO, one should look at prospective future lithium producers in safe jurisdictions. Century Lithium is the first to stand out. The company should come up with a feasibility study for its US-based lithium project in a few months. We expect very good numbers and also believe that the company can bring this project into production. The share price has not yet followed this at all. And we clearly see a great entry level here. The chart shows a double bottom at around 80 Canadian cents and we think that a new uptrend can start from there. We see a first price target of 2.5 Canadian dollars. Another candidate is Alpha Lithium, which is facing a hostile takeover. The offer price of 1 Canadian dollar 24 is a joke. And we expect at least 2 to 2.5 Canadian dollars for a takeover. Before that, I will not sell one share. Interesting at the depressed price level is also Iron Energy, which has now strengthened in northern Canada, in addition to Mongolia. We see a first price target at around 40 Canadian cents. Speculative would be an entry in Gamma Explorations. The chart has suffered tremendously and one can definitely consider a starting position at this level. Please note the disclaimer shown now. The stocks discussed are or may become part of the SRC Mining Special Situation Certificate and I'm a shareholder in the companies. Thanks for watching us and bye bye from Austria.